This is Gene Key, KTTT News. Yesterday in the Moore County 69th District Court, Alan Ray Kirkendall entered a plea of guilty to the murder of his wife, Amy Kirkendall. He was sentenced to 45 years in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice and ordered to pay a $5,000 fine. 47-year-old Alan Kirkendall was arrested and charged with his wife's murder on January 14th of this year. During that evening, the two had been having an argument when Amy Kirkendall told Alan Kirkendall that she was going to leave him and take the children with her. Alan Kirkendall, who had been drinking at the time, took a 38 caliber revolver from his bedroom closet and placed it on the counter in the kitchen. As the argument continued, he picked up the revolver and shot his wife six times, resulting in her death. He will now be turned over to the Texas prison system. ConnectAmarillo.com reports a 21-year-old man was killed Tuesday morning when he lost control of his vehicle on Highway 136 near Stinnett. According to DPS, Antonio Hernandez, 21 of Spearman, was killed at the scene. It was Tuesday morning just before 11 when Hernandez was driving a 1992 Toyota Camry two miles south of Stinnett when he lost control. Hernandez then overcorrected back onto and across the highway into oncoming traffic. Hernandez's vehicle was struck by a semi. He was wearing a seatbelt. From NewsChannel10.com, an Amarillo woman lost part of her leg after being run over by a train Tuesday night. Amarillo police said that around 8.30, the woman and a man were trying to cross the tracks at 3rd and Adams in Amarillo. The woman crawled underneath a train car when it began to move and severed part of her leg. Police say she may face trespassing charges. The man was arrested on an unrelated charge. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.